What is up guys? Welcome back. Today we are going to be playing on the OU ladder, but it's going to be a little bit uh, something different. Uh, we actually signed up for the official ladder tour, the Smogon ladder tour, uh, which gets you a lot of credentials if you end up uh, making playoffs and winning. Uh, you gain some recognition in the community, so I'm going to be trying to ladder up. Basically the point of this is to end up in the top two of uh, the ladder tour participants at the end of... Um, at the end of the cycle, which is weekly, uh, starts on Wednesday, so um, I'm currently recording this very, very early in the morning because I haven't gotten any sleep and this is going to end up biting me in the butt, but uh, basically I'm using uh, the MV Spike Stack team. This team is very good at the bottom of the ladder. Currently I'm 15 and 1, uh, and uh, we're going to try to get some games here, and these go by really quickly with this team, so uh, hopefully we can make that happen. Uh, as you can see, our opponents have uh, very interesting teams to say the least. Uh, I think uh, my best lead against this team is probably Thunderous, uh, just because of the Charizard, the Togekiss, we have Superpower for the Aggron, uh, as well as the Umbreon knockoff for the Mew, uh, and we can always switch out on the Porygon Z, uh, maybe go into our Banette, depending on the situation of course, so as long as he doesn't lead with that, I'm actually just going to start the timer on this guy, uh, as people, take <laughs> people at the bottom of the ladder have a tendency of taking uh, quite a little bit of time to choose their leads, so uh, I'm actually going to pause it and we'll be right back guys. Alright, so he chose his lead, and it was indeed Mew, so I'm just going straight for the knockoff. I'm getting rid of this thing's item immediately, which is leftovers, in fact. Uh, as he goes for Stealth Rocks, that's perfectly fine by me. Uh, rocks don't hurt this team too much. We do have the uh, Focus Sash Alakazam, Scarf Garchomp, so I'm just going to throw out a Thunderbolt at this point. It's going to do 48% with the Life Orb. Uh, he's going to Soft Boiled Stall. I really like new animations for Soft Boiled and for, um, uh, for Roost. They're really, really cool. Uh, but now I can go into Skarmory here. Expecting him to soft boil again, trying to stall our life orb. And uh, what I can do is go for the taunt on this thing, uh, prevent it from taunting me, uh, or will o wisping, in fact. So I'm just going to get up rocks at this point as my opponent chooses to go into Zard. Very good play. And we will switch out immediately into Garchomp right here, forcing the Zard out should it choose to Dragon Dance or go for a fire move. And then we can knock it back out. So that is definitely the play right here. As he is Charizard Y, he will probably go for Fire Blast right here, or Flamethrower, in fact. Uh, and we are faster, so we will be able to take this thing out with a Stone Edge. Uh, I don't know if he would predict that and go into something like Umbreon. That would be probably the play, but he does not. He stays in with his Zard, and we are able to eliminate that immediately, which is great. Uh, Zard is not normally faster than Garchomp, so he shouldn't know that we're Scarfed. Uh, we'll just go for another Edge right here. It is able to knock down Togekiss to 7% as he goes for Sweet Kiss. Interesting. Uh, not something you typically see. I'm actually going to switch out into uh, Skarmory right here. Uh, on whatever move he wants to go for, which is going to be the Air Slash. That's fine, we take that, no problem. I'm just going to go for the Spikes right here. He is faster than us and goes for another Air Slash. Gets the flinch off. We are most definitely getting off our Spike right here, thanks to our Custap Berry. This is going to help enormously with Aggron, with Mew, and with um, Umbreon, of course. Uh, he actually fails to knock us out on that turn with Air Slash, so I kind of wish I would have... Uh, gone, uh, well, I mean, Custap was going to activate either way, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, Air Slash does go off, and at this point, we can pick this thing off with uh, either Alakazam or Banette. We already know he is not Scarfed, because he switched up from Sweet Kiss to Air Slash, so we can just go Zam here, uh, and I'm actually just going to fire off a Dazzling Gleam in case he goes into Ubreon, so that's perfectly fine. And uh, we don't have anything to hit the Mew with, unfortunately, uh, but Umbreon does come out, that's great, as we can now go into... Uh, we can actually just spam Dazzling Gleam at this point. It does 39%, so very respectable amount of damage. He goes for the Foul Play. It doesn't even knock us down to our Sash, and he doesn't seem to be holding Leftovers either. So we are going to be able to bring this Umbreon down to 2%, which is amazing, as now Banette can come in and just go for the Shadow Sneak and knock this thing out. I do have to keep Banette, however, uh, specifically for the Mew, because I already knocked off its item, so Azu's knockoff is not going to be doing as much. And uh, we got to be careful around the Porygon Z, but that's about it. I think at this point I can probably sack off my Thunderous and then proceed to go into Garchomp and just spam EQ. Um, let me think about this for a second. Do I really want to keep this, or do I want to just Destiny Bond? Uh... Let's see. I kind of want to get this out of the way, honestly. And, um... I mean, he's going to burn us with Mew. That's the problem. I think my play is to... I mean, Thunderous doesn't do anything, so I'm going to sack off Thunderous right here. And then we'll go Chomp. 
Uh, he does go straight for the Ice Beam, that is perfectly fine. That wouldn't have taken us out, but that's okay. Unless he specs, of course, then that's a different story. But I can just go for EQ right here. Uh, be able to knock out the Porygon Z, of course. This is an offensive guard chomp. This is not your standard tank chomp. Uh, it does go into Mew, probably just to burn us. That is fine. Uh, we will Earthquake, get off as much damage as possible, nice and 39%. He does hit the Will-O-Wisp, so he'll be able to soft boil stall us. But we'll go straight into Banette on the first soft boil. And I'm curious to see how much a Shadow Sneak is actually going to do. Um, probably quite a bit. Uh, should I just burn this, because he's going to burn us anyway? I think I should. Uh, yeah, I'm going to burn this. Uh, just to be sure that I, uh... That I can not take his burn, of course, and be able to whittle him down a little bit, uh, turn by turn. We'll just go for Sneak right here. We'll wear this thing down. And that does 19%, so absolutely nothing. And uh, I'm gonna have to Belly Drum up with Azu and knock this thing out with a knockoff, I think. Uh, is my play. I'm just gonna keep uh, spamming Sneak at this point. He actually chooses to go out an Aggron, okay, to get it burned, I guess. Uh, we are gonna go for the Sneak right there, and I'm just going to burn this thing. And uh, we're gonna... Okay, nice double back into Mew. Very nice, very nice. Uh, as he is going to uh, dodge the burn, of course. And at this point, I think I'm going to go hard into Azu, I think. Um, I, I kind of want to... Well, I have no reason to keep this right, so let's just sneak. Uh, let's let ourselves go down to burn. And uh, then what we will do is belly drum up with Azu, take the burn, and proceed to knock off afterwards. Or play rough. I think play rough might actually do more at this point. Uh, because 65, 130, and 135, yeah. So we'll belly drum up and uh, get our citrus berry. He will be able to burn us right here, and we have to knock out the Mew right here with a uh, with a play rough, hopefully. Let's see if we can actually pull it off. We are faster than his Mew, so we are able to knock it out. That's awesome. And uh, now I'm contemplating um, just knocking off this Agron, honestly, because uh, Garchomp can come in afterwards and just Earthquake it. We should be faster. We definitely, we speed tie at the very least. Uh, I'm gonna go for knockoff. It's gonna leave him at 16%. Uh, get rid of his rocky helmet, and he's gonna fire punch, which is not gonna be able to knock us out, but we will go down to burn. Garchomp comes in, clicks Earthquake, and gets rid of this thing. Uh, I was worried about this thing being Mega the whole time. I completely forgot that he had a Mega Charizard at the beginning of the game. Uh, we will hop into our next game immediately. This guy has a much more threatening team. Uh, Magnazone is a little bit of an issue for the entire team, of course. Gotta predict around that thing. Uh, most of his team is grounded though, which is very nice for Garchomp. Nice and uh, Earthquake sweep at the end there. I'm actually just gonna lead with Scar. Uh, it's my best play overall. He leads with Magnazone, that's absolutely fine. As long as he doesn't paralyze us, uh, we should be good to get up two layers of hazards right here. I'm contemplating just setting up two layers of spikes, honestly, because he does have the Garchomp and Bisharp. So that might be better. Um, one eighth, one sixth. 1 6th is better than 1 12th, right? Um, yeah, I think so. Yeah, let's just go for uh, let's go for Stealth Rocks. He's got the uh, HP Fire. He's Scarfed, it seems. So I could follow that up by actually going into Azu and just like knocking everything out if I wanted to. Uh, I'm going to go for a Spike right here with the Custat Berry, of course. And uh, now, you know what? No, let's just spam the Earthquake at this point. I mean, he does not have a single switch in on his entire team. Uh, his Garchomp could be defensive, of course, which will be able to take two Earthquakes, but, I mean, only for so long, right? Uh, let's see. It does take 36%, so that's very defensive. And I'm going straight into Thunderous on this thing, not even playing around. As he goes for the Stealth Rocks, that's fine. We will go for the uh, Hidden Power Ice. And uh, the next time this thing comes in, it cannot take an Earthquake, so goodbye Garchomp. And uh, Garchomp should be good to sweep from this point on. I uh, just got to get rid of the uh, Zam Sash, but I think that's his Mega, so it's probably not Sashed anyway. Uh, he actually chooses to go into Bisharp, which is fine. We can go for the Super Power right here. Uh, Sucker Punch will not be able to knock us out, and Super Power is going to get rid of this Bisharp. I uh, didn't really need Thunderous for anything. As you saw before, our Banette has Gunk Shot for the uh, Zoomeril. Not exactly what I expect to come in at this point. Uh, I'm kind of seeing the Gardevoir come in, so... Uh, so maybe Vanette is the best play. Uh, no, I think Zam overall is the best play, as he brings in his Zam. Awesome. Uh, I'm just going to Dazzling right here, as he goes for the Shadow Ball. Uh, I think he is Mega still. I mean, uh, no, he'd probably be Mega uh, Gardevoir, actually. Yeah, that makes more sense. All right, that's fine. Goes for a Shadow Ball. Uh, we're going to go straight into Garchomp, actually, and just fire off an Earthquake. 
Should he choose to go into uh, Gardevoir afterwards, I think we have to stay in. I'm not sure, but um, how much does Gardevoir actually take from this? Like a Mega Gardevoir. Mega Guard versus Offensive Guard Chomp, like Choice Scarf. Uh, Earthquake does 81 to 96. So yeah, that's a knockout, actually. Awesome. All right, so we get rid of that. And uh, if he goes into Azu, I think I actually have to Earthquake again. I'm not sure. Just to prevent this thing from belly drumming up, uh, I believe. And then how do I beat the zone? I guess I just uh, Destiny Bond it, right? Yeah, that's my play. Go for the Earthquake. He is, in fact, belly drum, as he will go for it here. And uh, we have a max speed Azu in the back, so uh, it's not really going to matter. He's going to jet us anyway, and he's going to fail to knock us out. Uh, is it gonna do 54% and then our Garchomp is just gonna sweep up with Earthquake, so uh, As you can see, uh, this team is very very solid for taking on the lower ladder uh, He is Scarfed as well, but he will not be able to outspeed us at all. So goodbye Magnus Zone. Hop into the next game right here And I uh, forgot to turn Mojoin on for that game, but uh, we'll do it on this one Looking solid. Uh, we're now what 17 and 1, so that's pretty good. I'll show you guys. I'll uh, bring up my rank in a second um, On this account, of course which I just made, uh, L2, uh, LT2A Aster. Uh, you have to make three accounts when you sign up. Uh, before I turn Mojoin on, I'm actually just gonna go slash rank so you guys can see that 17 and one, beautiful record right there. I'm gonna turn on Mojoin. And uh, yet another team that uh, does not appreciate, uh, what does it not appreciate? Azu, <laughs> Azu actually can, uh, can tear th through this team. I just gotta weaken Rotom. Um, so I think Thunderous is actually my lead. For the, uh, for the Tyranitar. Okay, I was not expecting that. I'm actually just going to superpower. hope this thing is not uh, scarfed. Uh, and if he is, then click Pursuit, please. <laughs> and, uh, okay, click Stone Edge. That's absolutely fine. Uh, just going to go Skarmory now. We know he's scarfed. Uh, I'm going to go for the Stealth Rocks right here. If he goes into uh, Dawn Fan, I'm probably going to immediately switch into uh, Banet because I need to keep my Stealth Rocks up. They weaken the Charizard, weaken the Rotom, which is extremely important this game. Um, glad we have the Focus Sash on Alakazam for that Tyranitar. He does go straight into Charizard, however, uh, and we have a Garchomp. Uh, I can also just stay in and just get up a, uh, a layer of Spike, which I think is my play right here. Uh, he has Charizard Y. Awesome. Uh, does go for the Flamethrower. Please do not burn me. That would be awesome. Thank you. And now we will be able to go for a... I'm contemplating going for a second layer of Spike, but it doesn't do anything to Rotom. So I'm actually just going to Brave Bird this thing on the Cust app. He might not actually even switch out, so... Uh, he does choose to keep in his Charizard. We get a crit, unfortunately, for my opponent. And uh, he is going to go for the Solar Beam, which is going to do absolutely nothing. It's going to fail. And now we can go into Zam and fire off a Psychic at this point. Preventing Dawn Fan from coming in, basically, is what I want to do. Um, and yeah, that's... Uh, <laughs> he said that I'm lucky, but I mean, it doesn't really matter. It would have still gotten you into stealth rock range. So uh, gonna get rid of the Zard right there and uh, he can go Titar. He can go into Bisharp. Either one is fine. I'm just going to focus blast no matter what. Uh, he actually chooses to go into Dawn Fan. Again, like I said before, I'm just going straight into the net. I am not allowing him to spin. These hazards are extremely important. Uh, and he would break my sash in, in the process. So uh, I don't care that he got off uh, damage on us. I'm just going to go for the uh, Destiny Bond, actually, right here. Attempt to get rid of his Dawn Fan, which would be awesome. And um, let's see what happens. Go for the D Bond. And Dawn Fan goes for the Earthquake. Awesome. So we were able to get rid of his Spinner. And now... Um, I think we go Zam, no matter what, because uh, we need to weaken the Rotom. I can't allow his Rotom to come in on my Azu. Uh, that's what I'm trying to avoid right here. We do go into Zam as he goes into Rotom, awesome. Uh, and I think I'm actually just going to throw off a Focus Blast, uh, honestly. I just want to weaken this thing. Uh, yeah, let's go for the Focus, and we miss, awesome, okay. He's going to go for the Hydro Pump, and I'm going to go for the Psychic at this point, because I cannot... He's not going to switch into either Titar or Bisharp, no, knowing that I'm going for Focus Blast, so... I wouldn't think so, anyway. Uh, he's going to let us uh, knock him out. Uh, let I'm going to let him knock us out, actually. And, um... How do we win this game between these two? The Tank Growth is an issue. Uh, I can Aqua Jet this. I can not Aqua Jet this yet. I need damage off on this, uh, absolutely. I just need damage. 
And I think my road to that is going to be to Dragon Claw and just get damage off on him. Uh, he goes for the Hidden Power Ice. Wow, okay. Uh, just gonna Dragon Claw again. If he wants to switch in Bisharp, that's perfectly fine. And uh, I'm gonna have to figure something out here for the end game. This might be our second loss right here. We'll see. Uh, he did predict the uh, the Bennett very nicely. Um, well, I mean, he was going for knockoff on Zam, so that didn't really do anything. But uh, it does choose to go out into Bisharp. Interesting. Do I win? I'm going to go for Declaw. He's going to go for Sucker, and he's going to give himself some damage right there. Uh, he is a uh, Life Orb. I think we take a Life Orb Iron Head, and we can still go for the... Um, we just have to play around Sucker Punches, I think. Let's see, Bisharp. Bisharp, OU, uh, Swords Dance with the Life Orb versus Azumarill. I should know this calc by now, but Iron Head does 54 to 64, so that is quite a bit. Um, 54 to 64. Yeah, I can still drum. Goes for the Iron Head. Okay, that did a lot more than I expected. I guess he's adamant. Uh, we are going to go for the drum right here. And now basically we just have to out we have to outplay his uh, sucker punch. It's not gonna matter because he has the sand in the back, so this is gonna be a game a good game. So GG. Um, just gonna belly drum, of course. He's gonna go for the swords dance on my belly drum. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm just gonna jet at this point. He's actually gonna sucker that turn. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we were gonna take a loss that game anyway because of uh, sand in the back, but um, yeah, this is looking like a manageable team, I think, for sure. Uh, Elite Scar, no matter what. <laughs> Glyphable and uh, Gengar, very nice, the shadow. Uh, he leads off with Zapdos, that's fine. We can go for our Stealth Rocks right here. We do see that we are faster. He goes for a Volt Switch, knocks us down to Sturdy, thanks to the crit. Uh, that would that didn't really matter, but... He can now go into Metacham and just uh, fake us out, but... I can play around teams like this relatively well, with, uh, with Banette especially. Banette puts in so much work between Will-O-Wisp and things like that. Uh, he is gonna go into Garchomp, actually. Um, this doesn't look like his rocker. So, I'm just gonna get up Spikes. I don't think it's his rocker. Okay, yeah, it is. All right, that's fine. Uh, we're gonna go for the uh, a second layer of Spikes right here. We are faster than his Garchomp, which is awesome. He Dragon Tails us, but he will not be able to Dragon Tail us into anything. Uh, and now I can go into Thunderous. Uh, basically keeping out pretty much everything on his team. Uh, I can just go for the HP Ice right here. As he does go into Clef, we do see that it is Magic Guard. That is fine. Uh, I'm going straight into Banette here. I'm not playing around with this. Uh, as he goes for the Moon Blast, that's fine. He, I don't know if he's going to see the Gunk Shot coming. But uh, if he knows the team, he will. Uh, I guess he doesn't. And we are able to knock out the Clef. Awesome. So that's uh, the biggest pain to, to our team gone. Um... Metacham gets Shadow Sneak, so does this. I believe this goes down, like straight down, yep. Goodbye, Gengar. Ferrothorn comes in, and uh, I don't really want to stay in on this. Uh, I think I just want to go into Chomp here. Wish I had Fire Fang right about now, but uh, that's fine. He goes for a layer of Spikes, so that's going to be a little bit of a nuisance to Banette. Uh, Banette can still come in, though, later. Um, I'm going to go into Zam, actually, as he goes for the switch into Zapdos. So if he wants to defog, that is perfectly fine. I will allow him to defog to get the, uh, the hazards off of my side. He actually just chooses to go for the Volt Switch, which is fine. Uh, and now Metacham is going to come in. And I really want to go Vanette. Uh, but nah. Nah, that's not the play. We go Garchomp. Every time. Uh, Zapdos is extremely low. It's at 32%. He's probably just going to fake out here. He does. Awesome. He's going to take that. And uh, now we can actually just go for the Earthquake right here and knock out the Metacham. Awesome. So now we don't need Banette as much. Uh, it's great for burning the Ferrothorn and the Garchomp, but I don't think I actually need to do that. So uh, Belly Drum Azu wins as well with uh, Knock Off and Aqua Jet as my opponent forfeits. Awesome. So we go to an 18 and 2 record and we can pick up one more, I think, and uh, we're going to end it off right there. So I'm kind of tired, guys. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Um, right here, I like the Thunderous lead. Uh, Thunderous just plows through his team. Um, I'd love to get it in on a defog. That would be amazing. 
You know what? I'm gonna do something a little bit different, I think. And... I might just lead with... No, that, like, okay, never mind. I didn't want to lead with this, actually, guys. But, uh, it's okay, it's fine. I'm gonna go straight into Skarmory on this. As he is going to switch out into Raikou. Awesome, okay. That, uh, that actually works out. I don't foresee him going for the HP Ice. I could just switch straight into Garchomp. But again, I think just getting up my hazards is fine. He does go for the Shadow Ball, which puts us in range of, uh, well, not being in Custap, so I'm actually going to switch into Garchomp on this turn uh, as he goes for another Shadow Ball. Is that Specs or what? Um, really want a Stone Edge. Really want to do it right now. And, um, no, nah, because he probably thinks he's faster, right? Yeah, okay, cool. Able to get rid of the Raikou right there. He should know we're Scarfed at this point. Latios is a free switch. I don't think Draco takes out uh, Skarm from the range it's at. Oh, I really want to go Thunderous. I really want to go Thunderous right now because we are Defiant, guys, so that would be like hugely beneficial to us. Um, he should know we're Scarfed, so he could Defog here. Uh, he goes straight for the Draco. Okay, that's fine. We're able to weaken that. And um, what's his answer to Banant? Hold on a second. I think I take this thing out from this range, right? Let's see. Banet. Are you offensive? Uh, 471 with Shadow Sneak. Give me Shadow Sneak over knockoff. Shadow. Oh, yeah, Shadow Sneak. There we go. To Latios, standard life orb set. Uh, 68 to 82. Uh, no, not a role I want to play with. Let's go Nagar Chomp. And uh, next thing, next time this thing comes in on rocks, it's in range of Shadow Sneak, so I'm uh, free to Dragon Claw right here. His only switch to this is Mew or Gliscor, I guess. Mew or Gliscor, yeah, for sure. Um, but he lets his Latios drop, which is awesome. I think his Mew is his Defogger. I probably should have seen that, but uh, it's okay. I think, I mean, we can still deal with Charizard. We have a Scarf Garchomp, so he does go into Mew. Um, I'm expecting a burn here. More than likely, uh, Will O Wisp to come off. That, that is what he should go for. This team has a hard time dealing with Mew. Uh, he does go for the knockoff actually and gets rid of our Custap Berry. Uh, spikes don't do too much for us here. I'm actually just gonna taunt this thing. He's gonna he's faster than me and he taunts me. Okay. Um, with that much speed investment though. Like I mean, I can go Banette, right? You shouldn't have Will O Wisp. Okay, he's Stealth Rocks. Awesome. Okay. All right, we're gonna go for the um, we're gonna go for the sneak right here. Hope he's not Willow. He shouldn't be. He should be soft boiled as his last move. He goes for knock. Awesome. Uh, gonna keep going. Spamming sneak. Honestly, uh, we are able to get this thing down to 14%. He's gonna soft boil. That's fine. I mean, he has to go back up to full or near full to be able to live too. So uh, he should not be able to live too at this given time. So we are able to. Uh, Awesome, okay, so he lets us knock out his Mew. Just gonna, well, I mean, he could switch into Titar at this point, but he gets it burned as a result. Uh, Gliscor is fine as well. That's absolutely fine. Uh, I'm just gonna go for the Debond right here. Knock out this Gliscor. His Mew is sitting at 29% uh, when it comes in. Goes for a U-turn, awesome, so we're able to take that. And um, Mew can't come in. Charizard can come in, but... Uh, okay, so Mew comes in. I'm gonna Shadow Sneak again. I mean, I lose absolutely nothing. Uh, knock out the Mew right there. The crit didn't matter. And um, yeah, Gliscor comes back in. I think it knows at this point that it can't attack me. Or he knows that his Gliscor can't attack me, rather. So I'm gonna go into Scarm. Actually, I'm gonna keep my Banette just for uh, just for the time being. Goes for a Toxic, awesome. And uh, we'll be able to get up a couple of layers of spikes right here. As he goes for the Earthquake, I do not have Roost, my friend, I'm sorry. Uh, despite what you think, he's U-Turn, Toxic, Earthquake, I assume... Uh, what would the last move be? Maybe Knock Off, I'm not sure. Uh, just gonna keep setting up Spikes. As he goes into Zard, that's fine. Uh, he does forfeit, and that is GG. So we are able to conserve a 19-2 and two record. Uh, what's our rank looking like right now uh, on this account? We are... 14, 13, which is not bad, as I just started. Uh, so, yeah, that's uh, it's looking pretty good, guys. Uh, so I'm going to keep this up uh, probably during the day, uh, the, the day that you're watching this, or maybe the day before, actually. I don't know. I don't know when this is going up. Probably on Friday, but 
Um, anyway, so uh, we're doing pretty well. Hopefully we can keep this up. I'm not going to be using this team much longer because as soon as I get into the 1500s, that's when the real stuff starts. I'll probably try to bring you guys another one of these uh, very, very soon. So uh, keep an eye out for that. And uh, make sure you check out the league matches uh, this weekend. Uh, we are going to be having our NBA match, of course, and uh, hopefully our NPL match as well. Uh, I'll try to get that out at the latest Sunday, hopefully. So yeah, that's it, guys. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe if you want to see more, and I will catch you guys later. Ciao.